Balls Mahoney. Everybody always liked balls. balls. Man. I know. It's such a shame about balls. It is. I went to Balls Mahoney for Halloween in 1999. Yeah. I was like 11 years old. It was during his, um, he was seen with Spock Dudley. Mm -hmm. My friend was small and had red hair, so what is Balls Mahoney and Spock Dudley? I was, uh, I always tell everybody, I'm sure you heard the story on my podcast, but, uh, you know, when I was 18 years old, I worked in a dollar store, and, uh, this guy comes in, and I was like, who is that? He's an ECW wrestler. Oh, that's Balls Mahoney. I didn't know what ECW was way back then, you know? I'm yeah. like, this, I'm like, can you sign this autograph for me? Okay. And then after that, I became friends with him, you know? He really became, you know? I was really hoping to wrestle him yeah. because I'm built like Balls Mahoney, and I do, like, I was taking a lot of chair shots and stuff. Like, not that something to brag about. But no, like, no. Balls was a big influence yeah. on me. Yeah. And I was a big fan. And then when he died, I was just devastated. Yeah. It was uh, it was heartbreaking when I, I went to that funeral. A lot of buddy, a oh, lot man. of guys, a lot of guys. I actually met Joey Stott, uh, Joe Gertner for the very first time. I didn't realize, you know, they were, it was like. Yeah, Gertner's also on the weight, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Man, Paul was actual. Mm -hmm. That was tragic. Like, obviously, demons got the better of him, and that's a shame. It was like, yeah, and then Paul, Chris Candido, and it, you know, like, oh, oh man, look at Candido. Like, I know, man. Friends, too, you know? It's a shame. It's just a shame. I've, I've, I've been watching a lot of shooter reviews with Balls about yeah. how he met Chris Candido and, like, mm -hmm. how they were friends growing up. And Quincy yeah. Mountain was around, like, where I live. Mm -hmm. So when Candido was there, and he was there through Radley. Yeah. Like, his, yeah, it was. His brother's still around. His brother's still. I talked to his brother. He's doing all right. So. His younger brother. There's so much talent around here that I just didn't know. You yeah. Know? Yeah. 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 You're originally from what? Coney, Coney, New York. Coney Island, New York. Uh, you ever seen the movie The Warriors? Yeah. That was my original beginning. Was I was one of the Warriors. Oh, cool. I grew up in Tennessee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Coney Island. Mm -hmm. I went there many times, and it's yeah. Like a lot of people see it as run down, and like. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was an amusement park, whatever, no one cares, but, like... It is the sideshow. It's still yeah, really it's, magical if you look at it the right The sideshow, the freak show, you know, it's pretty cool. That's, I've gone there a couple times for that. That's pretty neat. I'm really, I'm super jealous that TNA has... Yeah. Matches at the MCU park. I want to put a ring on, not the boardwalk, but just on the beach and fine. Yeah. But that would probably be, like, million dollars in permits or something. Mm-hmm. But... That, like, I'm, I'm a huge sucker for weird, like, brawling in weird places, like yeah. matches. Like, when they did the Body Sun Challenge on the USS Intrepid. Yeah. That was really cool. When they, when WCW, they would go uh -huh. different places. Could you imagine? Or, dude, I'm surprised, like, cruise ships don't do that. They should have, like, do that. You know what I mean? I wonder who... They're so big enough. I know they are. The, 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 the what the uh, the ice palace or the you know like the you know anywhere or like one of those theater stages. They could just do it right on stage. Yeah. I mean, they could do it inside or out on the deck. <laughs> like um yeah. Oh man, remember when WCW would do the uh, spring breakout? Yeah. The float, like the when the F and W did. Yeah, 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 yeah. The pool, <laughs> the pool. Super cool. <laughs> like the fucking floating docks and shit. When they fought into uh, Alpha and Boston, fought into. Mm -hmm. A bar across the street from SummerSlam? Yeah. That's super cool. It's fighting, like, it's really not fighting, but it's outside, you know, like a ring. Not to be, mm -hmm. like, backstage assault was a shit game because there wasn't a ring. Yeah, yeah. But, like, if you have a bunch of people doing really good stuff in the ring, mm -hmm. if you can do cool stuff outside of it, that's even cooler. You know what I saw down in the highway a couple weeks ago when I was chicken, when I was chicken empty Kate. Trucks. I saw one of those big, long diesel trucks. Remember that one match with uh, Dusty Rhodes and uh, uh, King of the Road Man? Yeah, <laughs> I would do that. I would that would totally early. be cool. Like who am I to criticize Goldust? No, like, no, no, I know. That no. match was awful. That, yeah, yeah, but it was like pretty, you could do it the wrong way, I bet. Yeah, yeah. Now they can have the technology where you can put the GoPro cameras or the you know. Oh man, GoPros. Uh, do you remember the Jungle Battle Royal? Uh, from WCW 99. No! I'll have to check it. So it was based at the beach in 99, and they thought yeah. there was a bunch of luchadors. Mm -hmm. There was like a parka. Yeah, yeah. Um, Sandman, mm -hmm. Fit Finley. Yeah. Hugh Morris, a bunch of those guys. Yeah. In a junkyard. Yeah. And they all fought as like some sort of hardcore invitational. Right. And I'm really trying to get somewhere to do that 
a junkyard around here to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. My promoter cool. said if I could find a junkyard that would do it, mm-hmm. he would book it. And, like, you know, we could just fly it in this junkyard. <laughs> and Jimmy Hart had a, uh, yeah. a helmet on with a camera on it. Mm-hmm. It's like GoPros, man. It's, That's the future. It is. I know. They tried to use one at CZW. Did you see that? There was a time Carter Class brought one to the ring. It fell right off in the middle of the ring. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. These guys, it's just, you don't. They didn't even know it was fell off, you know? <laughs> it's like I saw somebody put one on their arm and hit a diving elbow. Yeah. You know it's cool. You know it's pretty cool they have those dr- those drones. They were using those at CZW. Oh yeah, I remember that. Those drones. I remember, I remember saying it. Yeah, they're floating all around. It's pretty cool. My cousin has one. They're pretty cool. <laughs> I gotta get one, but I really don't want one. <laughs> you know? My thing about drones would be yeah. I would be afraid that Yeah. Uh the drone will fly too close to the ring, and Slack will take it and eat it. Yeah, there's somebody putting so Slack. Somebody could change it up and put saw blades on it, right? <laughs> oh, man. The, um, somebody will, now that you said that. Uh, be. I'm sure, like, or, or fucking razor knives. <laughs> razor knives, you know. <laughs> Crazy. Just spray razors or, like, uh, yeah. like uh, John Rare's box cutter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John Rare is another guy I met at Carnage Cup, and he actually added me on Facebook. Oh, cool. And I was like, John Rayo wants to be friends with me. That's crazy. Yeah. People. But I, would, I yeah. think WrestleMania would be super fun. There you I mean, go. Yeah, it would be yeah. painful. Yeah, it would be death. <laughs> it would be death versus death, you know, <laughs> really. Like, he's a... Uh, I'm in Tank. Tank, yeah, he just hung I'm up. I'm in Tank at uh, Deathmatch Mafia, and he mm-hmm. had it in the next day, and I was like, I watch Tank yeah. on the wild side. Mm-hmm. Tank's one of the coolest guys. Oh, you know the shit bird, as he would say. Yeah, he's a, he, he was, was a cool guy. He was cool. He was at that tournament down here for uh, yeah, survival of the sickest. Yeah, with when he came in, faced uh, somebody. I forget who he faced, but Cannonball or something. But yeah, he was a great guy. He was good to see. I'm glad I see to see him before he retired. You know, that was what just last weekend. Yeah, last week he just retired. God bless him. It's yeah. a shame. We got Tank. He could teach me so much. Tank actually was it was that last match with Matt Tremont, I think it was. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I mean, that's how I wanted to go out. Mm-hmm. With people you grew up, you know, whoever you wrestled or, you know, that was whatever. So, so, so what was your first event you ever attended? Like, look, like, as a fan. Of first, um, like, it's like, you know, just outside of, like, you know. It was in 1999. They had a, uh, it was a local, it was called Iron Ring Wrestling mm-hmm. in Kingsport. And they brought in Terry Reynolds and yeah. Kane. Mm-hmm. And Kane was the Tracy's mothers in the main event. Right. And, like, I've had Tracy like a million times. Because yeah. Tracy's always wrestling still. Uh-huh. And uh, he lost to Kane, of course. Uh, Ricky Martin was there with Kid Cash before he was Kid Cash. Yeah, oh, yeah, in the ECW days of Kid Cash. Yeah, I remember that guy. And then, um... <clears throat> They actually, uh, the local high school, Dobbins Bennett, they have a big dome. Mm-hmm. And wrestling has happened there since, like, WCW wrestled there. Yeah. There's a video uh, on YouTube of Ric Flair and Sid and Sting and Vader wrestling at the, the DB Dome. Oh, wow. And so it's kicked out because of this one show, because they were like, hey, can we do a play in the table? Because it was Sunday 99. <laughs> can we do a play in the table? And yeah. they said, no, absolutely not. So they did it. Mm-hmm. And now... Here, almost 20 years later, wrestling's still banned. Yeah, wow. So they like, ruined it for everybody. Yeah. But it was really cool to see as a kid. Yeah, absolutely. Know. Yeah. Like me, like I went to a WrestleMania 5. I was lucky enough, you know? How cool. Oh, that's excellent. I you know? know, man. Like, that was like my, you know, sitting in nosebleed seats with my old man. And we're I did fucking... a WrestleMania after the nosebleeds, but it was 27. Yeah. But, but it was... Which is, like, the worst modern WrestleMania. But I was lucky enough, five rows away from Gorilla Monsoon and Jesse doing the commentary. I'm like, this is... Oh, uh, that's really cool. I know, with my fluorescent... I think I had a fluorescent Hogan Mega Powers Explode, you know, poster, you know. I think that was the first thing I ever got was... Um, mm-hmm. I went to see the Iron Sheik yeah. and uh, Jimmy Snuka, mm-hmm. also at Kingsport. Yeah. And the first job I ever had in wrestling was I stuffed flyers, like programs. Uh-huh. And my pay, because I was like 10, yeah. was I got to pick any of the posters, and I picked this giant Hulk Hogan poster. Uh-huh. Not really because I liked Hogan, but because it was the yeah. best one. Right. 
And I also got a picture of the Road Warriors with Paul Ellery, which, like, who doesn't want the Road Warriors? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I, uh, there was, <laughs> Hogan did a signing down here a while back, and I walked away. He was charging 200 bucks. <laughs> Dude, really? Yeah! That's, that's when he was going for his, when he was going through that divorce. We, we, uh, I yeah. was like, I bet he really didn't need the money. Yeah, I'm like, no. Of course, now he's got off some gawker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, nah, I could care less about that, you know? Uh, anybody yeah. else, I'll take an autograph, you know? But Ric Flair, no, forget it. That's another one. These guys are expensive, man. These guys are expensive, you know? I love Ric Flair. Yeah. Because, like, you know, mm-hmm. he is. he's the best. But, yeah. uh, I mean, out of all the people that mainstream <laughs> wrestling considers to be the best, yeah, he's the best of them. He's certainly better than Hogan. Mm-hmm. But he, uh... He is an insane person. Yeah, prices for you know prices for some of these guys is insane. I'm sure you've seen that through through all the you know, and it's crazy. I was at Fanboy Expo with Tatanka recently. It's a yeah. Knoxville. Yeah. It's a convention like Tom convention in Knoxville. Yeah, Tatanka's a great guy. He didn't charge too much. Mm-hmm. Like there's nothing. Yeah, you know, but like Sting was there. Mm-hmm. Sting was higher, but yeah, it's Sting. You it know? is. Who's gonna get that autograph? Yeah, who really wants? Yeah. It? Like my buddy, and then you know. There was Gene Simmons, and I looked at his prices, and I was just like, "There's no fucking way." Yeah, actually, you talking about Gene? Oh no, that's not, I'm thinking of another guy, Gene Simmons. Gene Simmons. Oh, is that? Oh, okay. No, I'm thinking of Snitsky. Sorry, I'm thinking of Gene Snitsky. Snitsky. There's another guy, pretty cool dude. <laughs> he seems really cool. I actually funny funny thing was I was uh, where was I? I was in Pennsylvania. Going to visit somebody. Oh, no, I went to, I think I went to um, da, 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 Allentown, PA, for a wrestling mm-hmm. show for GCW. My dad and I stayed overnight, and we came back, and we went over to the Cabela's, you know, in Pennsylvania there. The, I love Cabela's. Yeah, that place is awesome. But uh, next door was a military store, and I bought myself a new backpack, right? You know, like a little, yeah. I want a new bag for carrying souvenirs and shit. So uh, I go in the store, and, you know, this guy comes behind the counter, Gene Snitsky. I'm like, hey, what are you doing here? You know, I remember you. He remembered he me. He's got eyebrows now. Yeah, he sells beard trimming stuff, and <laughs> I don't know. He's a crazy character, but no, it's cool. Is he not, like, one of the tallest dudes in Hawaii uh-huh. person? Yeah. Because you see him on TV, you're like, oh, he's a big guy, and then you see him in real life, you're like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, you're, some of these people are like, wow. Yeah, yeah he's, big, he's a big dude, but it real, it was like, because he, he, the funny thing it was, there was just, like, a show by me. Like, the week before, I was like, were you just in my town? Yeah, I was, you jack. <laughs> I was like, damn, I didn't realize, you know. It's pretty cool, though. People like that, you run into, you never know who you'll run into, you know what I mean? Everywhere you go. You really don't. No. Because, I mean, I, you can run, mm-hmm. especially if there's a convention or something in town, that people are just everywhere. Yeah, I love conventions. I haven't been to one in quite a while. I haven't been to one. I haven't been to one since... I been like seven years until I went to Fanboy. I went to. I got lucky and got to go sign with Tatanka. Nobody knew who we were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, we got to hang out with Tatanka. Like, that was really cool. I remember I went to a uh, Russell Ruby. <laughs> bleh, Russell Re. Bleh, Russell Re. Reunion 2. That was, mm-hmm. a, that was a big show in like uh, the Forge Valley Convention Center in Pennsylvania at one time, you know? But that was like a huge. I actually got up on the mic and talked to Mick Foley. It was pretty cool, though, you know, for like a quick QA, you know? I, I saw Mick Foley do stand up. Yeah. In Johnson City. Yeah. He's really good. And, and you know what? The question I asked was I just threw it randomly off the top of my head. What was it like to go against the Undertaker in Hell in the Cell? You know, he was scared shitless, he said. Going off, you know, before the match. Yeah, I would be. I would be. I'm afraid of hot. Yeah. So, like, a lot of, I see a lot of these guys do stuff like that scaffold bands coming up. Mm uh-huh. hmm. And do you remember the, um, the circus death match that Ponda did? Yeah. They had the, the net of barbed wire uh-huh. in the ring. Yeah. It's like, oh, man, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Like, I'll do a lot of stuff, but that, I don't know if that's one of them. Just think Danny Havoc's done that in Japan, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Danny <laughs> Havoc, I, I was ashamed that he's retiring. Dude, I know. It's, I wish, like, everybody would know. But, like, I guess he's getting out while he's still young. You know. Yeah, he's young, and he's still. He is young, yeah. and he's not hurt. No. No, but he's so, had, like good for him. But man, yeah, he's had a good career. I know he's he's had a really good career, you know. 
But yeah, see, like those matches with him, like uh, you know, like the FMW style, you know, BGW, where he was like uh, on these scaffolding, like these little thin scaffolds.